Hello everybody. Today on the menu, I'm pulling out my menu here. We are having stuffed acorn squash and we are having cranberry sauce, asparagus, garlic parmesan, carrots. So um, we're gonna go on and get the acorn squash ready here in just a minute. And then I made the filling. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you know, I made the filling already, The at least the ground beef and onion part of the filling. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut these acorn squash in half, and then we're gonna bake them in the oven. And then I'm just gonna line this. This is just something that I had in the basement. Um, it's a pan lining paper, that's what it's called. I'm just gonna use that parchment paper, aluminum foil, anything you wanna use down on the pan. I was gonna make dinner rolls tonight, but I decided not to. Um, just because I feel like there's gonna be enough going on with just the acorn squash. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of olive oil on them. I'm just gonna take a brush and just kinda get that all around. I'm gonna put these on 350 for about 20 minutes or until they're fork tender. I'm just gonna flip them over. And now I'm gonna pop this in the oven and let these cook. All right, while that's baking in the oven, we're gonna make some cranberry sauce because it does need to cool completely before we eat it. And it's gonna cook for about 20 minutes or so. So we're gonna go on and make it so it can be cooling off before dinner's ready. Okay, in a saucepan, we're gonna combine one cup of sugar. a half cup of water and a half a cup of orange juice. Just gonna stir this up and we're gonna bring this mixture to a boil. Okay, to that I'm gonna add one cinnamon stick I'm gonna add the cranberries, I just washed them. I'm just double checking to make sure there's no bad ones anywhere. That one doesn't look so great. We're going to turn this heat down to a medium low heat. I am also going to add about an eighth a teaspoon of ground cloves. and some orange zest. I love the smell of cloves and cinnamon. So good. Like that. And just stir this up. And now this is just gonna cook on this low uh, medium heat for about 20 minutes till it starts to get thick like a jam or a jelly and you can hear it just popping away I don't really want to put a lid on it so I'm just gonna put this strainer on it just try to keep some of the splashing down while it's all popping about but yeah that's it that's just gonna go while we're waiting on this acorn squash
That smells just amazing. And these kick down a little bit more. My house smells like Christmas. Right, this is done. You can see it. So beautiful. I'm going to put this in a dish and let this cool off and I will fish out this, here it is, cinnamon stick and then just let this get nice and cool. Alright and now I just pulled these out of the oven. I'm going to let them cool a little bit. They are done. Trying not to break them so that I can stuff them. All right, I'm just gonna let that cool for a few minutes, and this is getting cool enough to, and this is cooling off in a container before I can put it in the uh, refrigerator. All right, now I'm gonna finish off these stuffed squash. So I'm going to set the oven to 450. Then in this pan I'm going to heat up this onions and meat from yesterday. It's just hamburger meat and onion. I need to refill that. <laughs> Salt and garlic powder. Then I also have here some mushroom and an apple. I got those all cut up, so I'm going to add those. A little stock. Now this could be made with turkey or chicken and add chicken stock or um, or turkey. But I have beef. That's just what I already had out and open in my fridge. Now while that's cooking, I'm going to go over here for a minute. And I'm just going to get some of this out of here before I fill it, leaving some on the sides, and I'm just going to add it. So my mixture over here. some of the filling and start stuffing these peppers back here. Next, I'm gonna just top it. I just have some cheddar cheese, and I'm gonna top it with some cheddar cheese. And these are gonna bake for about 10 minutes. I gotta grate up some more cheese real quick. Okay, and this is going into 450 degree oven. 
for about 10 minutes or until it's just nice and bubbly on top. All right, next I'm gonna make the Parmesan carrots. I'm just gonna start with some carrots here that I just cut. And here I got about four tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna set that here. I'm gonna add a little bit of minced garlic to that. Some salt. Pepper. Some oregano. And some basil. I'm just rubbing it around because it's dried from the garden. I'm going to mix all this up, and I'm going to toss that in here with these carrots, toss all around, bring where you guys can see that good. I'm going to top that with some Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to put this in the oven to bake for about 20 minutes. And now the acorn squash is done. Looks and smells so good. That's gonna cool off while the carrots are baking. Okay, the last thing before dinner is going to be the asparagus. I'm just gonna rinse this off real quick. Then I'm keeping this super simple. I am just doing some olive oil and salt and pepper. I'll put that in with the carrots. All right, so here it is, dinner tonight. Got the stuffed squash, cranberry sauce, asparagus, and carrots. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. We have, um, <laughs> Our house is smelling, sorry, got out of focus. Our house is smelling like the holidays, for sure. The only thing that maybe you could add to, to the um, acorn squash that I didn't think of until after I'd already assembled it and everything is a little sage would be good, I think, in there too. But you guys, this, I am telling you, is so good. And it smells so amazing. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and joining another night of What's For Dinner November. Bye, everybody. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.